resistance is opposition to the flow of electric current. And we know that in order to create a flow of electric current, we need a power source, which in most of our circuits will be a battery, which is a source of direct current. And we also need a closed circuit to allow charge to flow all the way around. That closed circuit is usually created with conductors. We normally use copper wire as our conductor, but essentially they are conductors because they have many free charges. Often they are electrons that allow for electrical energy to be transferred through that material very easily. Now, once we have an electric current, we can actually use that electrical energy to convert into other useful forms of energy, and we do that with resistors. Now, resistors are substances that are made up of different materials that do not necessarily allow charge to flow through them as easily or as freely. Now, we know that the atoms and molecules in those materials are normally arranged in some kind of pattern, and the resistance of a material is determined by how easily charge carriers, again, usually electrons, but not always, how easily charge carriers can move through that material. So there are a number of factors that affect the ease with which they can move through or the amount of opposition. The first one is length. We understand that if a resistor is longer, it makes the path that a charge carrier needs to move through it longer and therefore more difficult, therefore more opposition and therefore more resistance. The second factor is the thickness of a conductor. We know that if the charges have to move across a very thin conductor, there is a lot of space, therefore a lot of congestion. Think traffic on a road that only has one lane. So the thickness of the conductor, we say that thinner conductors offer more resistance where as it gets thicker, there is more space for charge to move and therefore less resistance. The fourth factor is temperature. We know that as a substance heats up, we know that the atoms and molecules that it is comprised of vibrate more and more. As those molecules vibrate more, obviously it makes it more and more difficult for charge carriers to move through, which increases the amount of resistance. So we say that the higher the temperature is, the more resistance there is. And finally, the last factor is the type of material. We know that different materials offer different resistances because they have different arrangements of atoms and molecules, which affects the amount of resistance that it offers. So essentially what we have happening in a circuit is we have a battery that starts out by converting chemical energy into electrical energy. That electrical energy is in the form of charges that are moving around the circuit in a current and those charges then come into contact with the resistors where different resistors have different functions. We know that some resistors, the friction just causes heat, add resistors heat up. We know that other resistors, as the substance heats up, it starts to glow and give off light. We know that other resistors vibrate and can therefore give off sound energy, and different resistors that make up motors use magnetic energy to convert it into mechanical energy. So essentially, the flow of current around a circuit is all for the purpose of using it on different types of resistors to convert it into different types of energy. We know that heaters use the electrical energy to create friction, which causes heat. We know that lights use electrical energy to heat up a substance so much that it starts to glow. And we know that motors use electrical energy to convert it into mechanical energy or the energy of motion. And there are four factors that affect the amount of resistance that a substance or material offers, that being length, the longer the substance, the more resistance, thickness, the thinner the substance, the more resistance, type of material determines how easily charge can flow through it, and temperature, we know that the higher the temperature, the more resistance that material offers. Finally, we know that resistance is measured in ohms with the symbol omega and essentially the resistance tells us 
how much energy is being used up in order to pass through that specific resistor.